Hello, and welcome to week three of the American Short Story course. This tutorial is going to discuss the shift from realism to modernism, but I'm also going to go over how to um, download and take the midterm exam, which is going to happen at the end of next week. So as usual, I just want to remind everybody the best bet uh, is to go to the course menu and to view all the assignments, table of contents. Um, the syllabus is um, one of the easiest ways, as it turns out, to download the readings. Um, and so, yeah, let's just get to it. The idea uh, in the syllabus, well, first of all, I can't put every single author I would love to put on this uh, syllabus. We do have limitations in what we can read, and especially in a six-week class. And so, yes, Mark Twain is missing, and you know maybe Charles Chestnut, and and lots of other authors, uh, especially a lot of the immigrant authors that are getting published a little after. But what I'm doing is I'm trying to take representatives of these eras such that Chopin's The Story of an Hour is, in many ways, a realist text um, that's published in 1894, whereas Sweat in 1926 is, is more of an in-between of the realist and the modernist. Um, so let me, let me explain what I mean. In the realist fiction, uh, you have literature that is taking up social issues, and we discussed the um, idea that Chopin is very invested in women's rights at the turn of the century. Um, but it's also uh, interested in regional areas, trying to distinguish itself as an American literature. So in Chopin's story, you don't really get it as much as you do in some of her other stories. Um, but definitely in Hurston's story, you have the regional dialect trying to capture the voice and sound of the people. Mark Twain, of course, does this um, to great effect. And many of the authors in the late 1800s, early 1900s are doing this very consciously. The, um, the, the reason I like Sweat here is because it's, it's transitioning um, into what we're going to see more of as the modernist literature. The, the crucial distinction, I guess, if, um, if there is one really, is that in realism, you have a sense that there is a potential to help people in society, that there are ways, there are um, means to um, launch efforts to, to better society. When you get to modernism, you have a little bit more cynical of a take. And the, um, the idea that something like morality or traditions can be understood and validated becomes suspect. And so um, you have a questioning of community values uh, in modernism, and that's that's what I think is kind of happening in sweat also. And so um, you have the regional, you have the social issue, but then you also have this kind of questioning of, of the community and of, of social value in Hurston that we start to see more of um, in, in the modernist fiction. It's also a very experimental time. And so Shirley Jackson's The Lottery is very experimental. Um, Flannery O'Connor uh, takes you to a very dark place. Um, it's it's just it feels different from the 1800s. There's 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 a stark reality happening in the fiction um, that is abrasive. But okay, so what this translates to in terms of our discussion, so far we've talked specifically about the narrator in Melville's text and. Um, we are going to be taking up questions of plot in this week and do take the time to become familiar with these plot con um, concepts and um, 
you've been asked to start thinking about endings um, of stories. The um, narrator is something that's going to carry over into our discussions this week. Um, particularly experimental kinds of narrators, the unreliable narrator. But the focus is largely going to be on character. And so far, we've been starting our conversation about sim sympathetic and unsympathetic characters. And so the crucial thing about modernist fiction is that you end up without a hero. Now, in some ways, people had started to um, talk about Bartleby as a kind of hero, or maybe even the narrator as a kind of hero, somebody that you can really get behind in the story. But in the modernist fiction, um, it becomes much more difficult to do that. Definitely be thinking about setting as uh, we move forward. That's going to be the crucial things um, that you want to be looking at when you start to do um, the reading for next week. And um, at the end of next week, we you will be um, taking the midterm. And so the midterm is going to be a document that you download. Um, it's in week three from the D2L. And um, you're going to click on this midterm exam and it's going to pop up um, a word doc that you will be able to download and then you are going to have until saturday to uh, respond to all 10 questions at roughly 150 to 100 words a piece and um, then you'll be submitting it and that's going to be your midterm all right looking forward to what you crank out this week